Good morning. Welcome to uh, K-12 Next Generations Chip Trading Lesson. My name is Ms. Tracy. And uh, those of you who are members of K-12 Next Generation and have the Chip Trading Module, you'll see that in the attachments there are activities and um, practice sheets on the lessons that we do. And um, I know that you're uploading those into your math journal so that I can see how you're doing. Now yesterday, we actually looked at just what was in a number, and I gave you a number, and we learned how to put it on our board. So the number was four, and we knew that this represented the number four on our board. What we're going to do now is look at how we write these out in what's called expanded notation. This is a standard number four, and what it means is that we have four ones. So sometimes you'll see this written out like this, four ones, and you know that it means four in the ones column. Okay. Let's look at the number seven. Okay, and here is seven on the board. And what does this seven mean if I write it out? That's right, it means that you have seven ones. It looks like this. Okay? After we did just the ones column, well, we went up and incorporated now the tens. We started with the number 81. So I'm going to put 81 on the board. Now, now when we write this out, we need to make sure that we're representing both place values. So, we would write out that we have eight tens plus one one, like this. And that's how we would write it out with the numbers. And sometimes you actually see the numbers themselves written out and we'll practice that the next time. You will also see this written out as 880, which is what 8 tens is, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, plus 1, like this. And you can see that if I actually write it in a uh, vertical way, it would be 80, plus 1, and then if I add it, there indeed is your 81. That's how that number is written. Okay. Then we had the number 12, and let's see while I'm setting 12 up if you can tell me what I should be writing. I should be writing that we have one ten plus two ones or ten plus two and ten plus two is the same thing as twelve. Is that what you were thinking? Good. That's right. We have 10 plus 2. That gives us the 12. Then we went up into the hundreds place, and I got a little sneaky on the first one, and I gave you 709. So I needed to put 700 in here, and while I'm doing that, see if you can think how I would end up writing this number out. And I don't put anything in the tens. I put nine in here in the ones. How do you think this is going to look? Well, first of all, we have three place values, so I'm going to have to have three numbers written in there. Okay. That's my 709. 
And so I have seven hundreds plus no tens. So I'm going to write zero tens plus nine ones. Now when you get really, really good at this, you don't need to write down that you have zero tens. You could write down that you have seven hundred plus nine ones. But for right now, when we're just starting off, it's always best to make sure that you're holding your place with the zero place value so that you don't forget. Otherwise you end up saying that you have 79 and that is much different than 709. Okay? And we would write it as 700 plus 0 plus 9. 700 0 and 9 equals 700 and 9. Okay. Got a little ahead of myself and started to put the 9 instead of the 0. But that equals 700 9. Okay, the next number we looked at was the 300. We had 4 tens. We had 6 ones. Now, if you're trying to write these out on your own with me, stop the video now and do that and start the video back up and watch what I'm doing. Okay, so we had three hundreds, four tens, six ones. So I'm going to write three hundred. And then the four tens, so that would be a plus four tens, plus six ones. I have all three place values represented in how I write the numbers. Yeah. And then I would write it out in expanded numbers as 300, because this would be 100, 200, 300 plus 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, plus the 6, and that would be 300, plus 40, plus the 6, which equals 3, 46. Does that look anything like what you wrote? It gets pretty easy after you practice it for a bit. All right, and the last numbers that we did, we went up into thousands by side. And so I have one here, which would be 1,000. And I have nine here, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, nine here. So that'd be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. I have six tens. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. And one. So now I'm going to write my number out while I'm writing my number. You try and write along with me. We have 1,000 plus we have 900 plus we have 6 tens. Plus one one. Woo, I don't know about you, but I squeaked it all the way across. 
Okay. And now let's write it out just in numbers. We have 1,000 plus 900 plus 16 plus 1. And I'm going to write it vertically so we can see it that way too. 1,000, 900, 1. 1,961. You see how it all falls right in line here? And when we say it, we actually are saying those numbers we're saying. 1,961. All right, so let's take these off the board and we'll do our last number that we had in our first lesson, which was 3,492. Of course, I realized just recently that I read that as a 6. Well, since I'm reading things upside down, it looked a little bit like a 6 to me, but I'm sure you all caught me and you knew that it was a 2. So now we're going to put on our board um, the 300, At the 3,000, I'm sorry, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And the 400s, 100, 200, 300, 400. And 910s, which would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 2, 1. Now I'm going to write this number out, and I'm going to ask you to try and do the same thing. And we'll see if we match. So I have three thousands, plus I have four hundreds, And I have nine tens, and I have two ones. Well, when we get into larger numbers, we're going to have to use larger index cards. Okay. And now let's write it out in our numbers. We have three, three thousand, plus we have. Four hundreds. We have nine tens, which is ninety. And we have four ones. So we have three thousand four hundred ninety two. And I just change that number because I put a four down there. 3,492. 3,492. Okay, for those of you who are in K-12 Next Generation, there'll be some practice sheets for you there. And when we come back next time, hopefully I won't reverse my numbers as badly. And... We're going to start practicing a little bit about the actual chip trading and how that works, too. Okay. So until our next time, you have a good day, and I'll meet with you again soon.